Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews. It is a very cold day today. Oh, I just needed a little sip of this. I am in my studio. It's extremely cold. And I mean extremely cold, guys. It's been raining for the past, like, maybe 22 hours. So, my little boy, I thought I'm going to have a lie-in today. Um, my little boy, like, came in the bedroom and he was like, oh, oh. And I was like, what's he doing? So I just kind of like looked up and it was like, what are you doing? And then he said, oh, mummy, this parcel's come for you and it's so heavy. And I was like, oh, okay. But I grabbed these on sale, guys. And I know that now the sale's even bigger. So I think Kilsa, I've got, um, I think it's 40% off as well as your normal 25% off your clearance section. God damn you pair of the velvet high tops that I've seen Chamber Wench buy I like £23 brand new but they're velvet and I just don't think velvet or suede is very good in this weather and let's be real it's going to be crap this weather now to god knows when so as much as I really want to get them I'm going to hold back and I'm going to wait till Black Friday I have not spent my Christmas money off my mum yet because I haven't got it but when I do I'm going to spend it on Black Friday in Kilstar so let's just get in and Oh, there's a hole in it and already and have a look what we've got so obviously i've picked my own stuff oh interesting and these were sale items anyway so i thought i got these really reasonable i had to put some of my own money to it guys um which i'm fine about you know what i mean i did say to my dad i've had to put oh sugar hey no black envelope today what the hell's going on there I buy all the time. I expect a bloody black envelope. So my stuff fell out because they never just put it loose in the packaging, but for some reason they have this time. Um, I actually paid less than what they've put on here. I don't think they put the reduced prices on their labels for some reason, because I didn't pay this much. I know that for sure because... Mm-mm. I paid it. So I'm going to start off with this. Now, I just had a little bit of money left, so I thought I will grab this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So this is a Luca Spell Choker, and it was $5.99, and it comes in the beautiful Killstar bag. Look at that, it looks really pretty. Um, they had so many goddamn chokers on there, and I kicked myself because I didn't stay and had a look for a bit longer in the choker department and I actually spotted one that had a skull on and oh it's on my it's on my basket it's in my basket I am going to get it let's just have a look at this that I picked and I thought for 5 dollars it was worth it I think it were a lot more expensive last time I looked at it so here it is guys I think it's absolutely stunning so it's got this spike stud effect as you know I've got a thing about this spike stud effect and obviously we've got this huge like what we'd call a pentagon star with this chain design linking in a crisscross motion now i do have um irritation caused by such things as this so the chances are guys i probably won't be able to wear this for a long period of time but it's not going to affect me just trying it on now i do have um a Rob Zombie choker. I love it to death. I think I've worn it to the death, to be honest with you. So I did need a new choker. I do have a lot of gothic chokers, but I do like these. That's really pretty. So guys, I'm not going to makeup on today. It's a no makeup day. I can't be bothered with makeup today, guys. But as you can see, this one kind of goes under and these two go over. I absolutely love that. I mean, it doesn't go with this jumper, obviously. But it looked very, very nice with a nice black gothic number. Or a really nice gothic top. So that's that one, guys. Um, it's very, very heavy. I've got to say, it's very, very heavy. And I think this is like... It never says if it's genuine leather. I mean, I don't think it is. I think it's more of your faux fur leather. Faux fur, faux fur. But I'm going to put that back in there, guys. And keep it neat. Because I don't know when I'll get to wear that. But that was that first item, guys. I'm just going to keep drinking my burger. It's freezing in here. Hmm. And then I'm going to save this to last because this is the, the one thing I've been after for ages and ages and ages and ages. And when I seen it at that reduced price, I jumped on it. So this, ah, I've been wanting this for ages as well. 
So it's come in the nice Kill Star bag. And this is the Sorceress Hood Dress. Now, when I first seen this, I thought it was like a top more than a dress. And chances are, it may be too short for me to wear as a dress and I will wear it as a top. But I couldn't resist it. And when I seen the price, here it's coming up at $17.99. When I first spotted this, it was $34.99. And as much as I liked it, I wasn't willing to pay that. Um, I mean, the only time I pay that kind of price is for my clothing. It's usually like if it's band merchandise and stuff like that. Hell bunny dresses I've spent in the past. Ah, I love it. So guys, let me just grab it and pull it out. Oh, I love it. So the hood has got this, I didn't realize it had this. It's got this spike effect across the hood, all the way down the bottom and the back. Ah, oh, these are gonna look mint. It is very cold. And it's cold shoulder. I love cold shoulder items, guys. So as you can see, here's where your, your top divides. And it is like bat wing. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I can't wait to try this on. But it has this hoodie effect. And that's what drawn me to it. Because it just, I don't know, she just looks amazing with it on. So as you can see, it has the drawstring here. And um, I just love the whole, the way the lace looks and stuff. The label turns around and says, you are only responsible for what you say, not for what they understand. Very good. I love the little quotations. Um, and there's the label there, as you know, the Kill Style label. I keep all my labels on my clothes, guys, until I actually wear them and feel comfortable and I know there's no defaults and stuff. I do check. Now, guys, I actually bought an XXL. And the reason I bought an XXL, because I'm struggling with sizes when it comes to Kill Star. I know I bought an XL recently, which are great, but my sizing is fluctuating up and down constantly. And I don't know if it is my sizes or it's the clothing itself. I just wanted to make double sure that this was going to fit comfortably. And I don't really care if it's hanging off me loosely. I'd rather it be hang off me loosely than tight. We can see all your lumps and bumps. I just don't think it's a pretty look. And I just don't think I want to look like that. So I did get an XXL. So, but guys, it doesn't look that big to say it's an XXL. That is comfortable for me. I mean, I'm big chested, like really big chested. So I do like things to, to fit comfortably. And as you can see, if you put it to the side, to the side is your true measurement of your top. That for me tells me that it's a good bloody job. I got the XXL. I think with XL, I may have thought that I'd be coming a little too short and it probably would have been a little bit too tight around the bust. It's giving, but it's not a very giving material. It does have side pocket, uh, front pockets as well, guys, which I absolutely love about hoodies. I do have a lot of hoodies that are like that. And from what I can see, it is probably gonna be a dress for me if I wanted it to, but honest opinion, I'd probably wear my dark opaque tights and boots with this, my gothic boots. I do have a lot of gothic boots. I probably got so many pairs of boots that I don't even wear that I just sat there. So that was that, guys. So that was $17.99. And for that, I thought it was absolutely worth it. And I just love the whole design on the hood. So that was that one, guys. <clears throat> I will do a try on at the end for you to have a look and see. And then I'll just quickly tell you what I think <coughs> while I'm on camera trying them on. The next thing, I just thought... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. <coughs> I was trying to look for another item because... Although I had to put some money to it in the end because I wanted the choker. Um, I didn't know what else to buy. So I was looking for like a reasonable t-shirt. And I know a lot of the t-shirts that they have are like cold shoulder or they're like string vest top. I wanted just a normal t-shirt because it is cold. And maybe I can just wear it with a hoodie. But I spotted this and I think it was on the men's department. But I didn't care because I liked it. And this one is a no sleep t-shirt. I got it in XXL and it was $8.99. I was going to buy the cat one that they had there and I kept looking at it. I can't remember what the quote on it was. I may still go back and get it because clearance sale at the minute is crazy. And I might just stick it in my basket anyway. And I think it's something like $4.99 now, which is absolutely nothing. Especially for Kill Start. Now, <coughs> so it has like a coffin shaped label with this it says no sleep t-shirt and it's an xxl and i love the little thing no desire to fit in and it actually says if it's both terrifying and amazing then you should definitely 
pursue it. I love it. So this is the t-shirt guys. And I'm glad that I got an XXL because I like the fact that this is going to be so loose on me. It has the Killstar little label. I do have Killstar t-shirts. <clears throat> I don't necessarily wear them all the time, but they're there if you do need to wear them. So it says no sleep. And I love the fact that that skull is on the bottom. I look, I've got lots and lots and lots of skull t-shirts. He's even scarier. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Now, material wise, <coughs> I will try this on, guys. Um, I, might, I mean, I've, I've bought a few things from Boohoo recently and you can tell the difference in, in like quality with like t-shirts, but I'm going to do a, a comparison on this t-shirt and like a Boohoo t-shirt and see if there is actually a, a difference with the material as such. But that was that guys, I absolutely love that. So um, $8.99, that was already in the clearance section. So if you go in the clearance section now, you probably find that this is actually about $4.99. I don't want to look because I'd be like, I should have just bloody waited and I would have got everything a lot cheaper. But saying that, guys, I did want the pentagram bag. And it's the round handbag and I put it in my basket last night. We're eleven ninety nine. dollars I've been watching it for weeks and weeks and weeks and keep thinking, I'll get it next time, I'll get it next time. And I went to get it this morning and it was sold out. I'm a little bit gutted about it. I'm a little bit not gutted because I've saved myself eleven ninety nine, and I've actually just got a bag. So it comes in your normal Killstar bag. My bin's overflowing, guys, but I can't be bothered. So it comes in this lovely bag which keeps them fresh. I keep all these, even bags that I've got from Demonia and stuff like that, and China shoes that I've bought in the past have come in this kind of bag. But this one also has the Killstar logo on there. And then it has a little label that says, we are the weirdos, Killstar. I love these labels. I will keep the label on the bag. Um, I'll probably take it off when I eventually use it. But this is like my main Christmas present that I've got. This and that top. I think the rest of the stuff, I kind of, half of the t-shirt I paid for and I paid for the choker. But I've been asking for this bag for ages. Now this was around about £37 quote me if I'm wrong but it was round about that price when I first noticed it and wanted it oh I hope that's not the case what I'm just seeing and I actually uh, it says the unlucky backpack and it was 27.99 and I thought that was really good now guys I did use like my money off code as well so although it says total price 60 pound 49 I only paid 50 so somewhere along the line I I with my Colds off. I, I lost ten pounds off it. So it's got all this lovely tissue around it. Let me just take it off. And I could not resist this bag. I it was shouting at me. And I want the milk one as well because I just I just love the quirkiness. Now it's it seems a little bit unshaped. Let me just open it up and just see if there's a reason for that. Okay, so it is a little bit bent, guys, but. It's probably that it's new and it's just been sat there in the warehouse. Oh, right. So another reason I like this bag, one, it's a backpack, but you can also have it as a handbag. So it's like two in one. So obviously there's three lots of straps that come with it. There's one, oh, look at this. There's one that crisscrosses to make it into a backpack. And then there's one that makes it into a handbag. So at the side, let me just explain and then you'll see. At the side is these little tags here, these little loops. And these are so you can have it as a normal handbag, which will hang this way. And then at the back, you've got these three tags, which you're going to like attach one there, one will attach here and one will attach here. And I will figure it out. That one obviously is the backpack part. And then one of these is the bag part. And then I'll figure it out. But that's how it goes. So you can have it attached to your back as well as to the side. So it says, make every day Friday the 13th. <laughs> I love it. And then at the front, it says, goth flakes to feed your soul. Hexed and cursed cereal. Killstar. Unlucky charms. It says, vegan and gluten free. You'd be, <coughs> you'd be glad to know, guys. And then at the, back, at the back, it says, nutrition facts. Then it says, serving bad luck, 100%. Bewitchment. 666% hope, enough, nothing, zero, zilch, misfortune, 100%, <laughs> um, uh, um, F U C K S given. I'm not going to swear on my channel because I have got a potty mouth and I'm trying to keep it clean. Yeah, so F's given, 0%, yay. Superstition, 
Ingredients, goth flakes, curses and hexes, sweet dish, disharmony, black colour, hashtag 666, a good source of doom and gloom. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Now inside, they've packed it really, really well. I'll probably keep the packaging inside until I actually use it, guys. But let me just, oh God, don't you just love the smell of new bags? Where's that freshener gone? I'm gonna have to pick that up because I think that's a danger to my little boy. Right, so it is made of like, like a cardboard. I'll be completely honest, it is cardboard and then it's covered with this faux leather. And then inside you've got one, two pockets, one's for your phone, one's whatever you want to put in there. And then it's very, very deep so you can fit all kinds of stuff inside there. You can, if you're on an night out and you're wearing some goddamn stupid shoes, you can actually put some flip flops like sandals in there. Just to, like an example. There's another freshness thing in there. And then they've got this large zip compartment so you can put your, your money in there or whatever you want to put in there. But guys, $27.99. I know I really do want the milk one. And I think I just want it because I want it. But I know that the um, Mama Goth put one on her page the other day, like on the um, Killstar Anonymous page. Um, a new bag that's coming out. There was a lot of like pink shoes and stuff. And I was just like, no, no, don't do pink. Um, but there was a bag that they've got there, very similar to this one, but a bit smaller. And I kind of like the look of that. But you can guarantee it'll probably be around 40 quid. So if you wait long enough, you'll get it at a real good price. I've waited a long time to buy this. It's a little bit misshapen, but I'll, by the time I've filled it up with all my crap, it'll be fine. So there you go. That's my Lucky Charms bag, guys. And that is going away because obviously it's my Christmas present. I can't have it now. So my husband's taken that back to wrap it up. And he's probably taking like the, um, the jacket thing. I will keep the choker and the t-shirt because I pretty much pay for that with my money. All right, guys, that is that. Stay to the end. I will try the bag on my back so you get to see what it looks like. And I will try the t-shirt and that top. I'll probably have my leggings on so I can't be bothered with like putting tights and stuff on. It's I've actually got like DBT stockings on till January. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass trying to put tights over them and they're a pain in the ass to get on and off. So I will try them on. I wanted a choker unless I'll try it with that jacket. But stay to the end, put the comments on below and let me know what you think. So I'm gonna go, it's been a long video. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Okay guys, so this is the Kill Start. This is actually men's t-shirt and I got an XXL. I'm glad I got an XXL because it hangs just as I like it. I mean, I do have t-shirts that are like large and they're a bit too like clingy. I don't mind like such thing as body tops being clingy, but like t-shirts I think should be baggy. So I've tried them on with just a regular pair of leggings. I mean, I do have some kill style leggings. I do want the Rob Zombie, which are on sale at the minute guys. So go and grab them before that sale ends. They are absolutely cheap, 17 99 And I've put my um, sold high tops on with it. So it is plain, I think at the back, is it guys? Yeah, it's plain at the back and then it just has this design which says um what does it say no sleep now guys i do i didn't realize when i was looking they do actually do a long sleeve version of this which i absolutely love as well i just don't see the point in buying another t-shirt with the same logo just to have long sleeved but i do actually like this it really is nice now the fact that this xxl does bug me a little bit because this really should be a size 14 or a 16 I reckon this XXL business is around about the 18 size. So sizes do gripe me a little bit with Killstar, but I absolutely love this. So I'm gonna try on the next um, outfit that I got and I'm gonna try the choker and the bag. So it's all in one. I won't wear the sold out shoes because they kind of look a bit silly, but I will put some normal black shoes on to get the gist of a, a going out outfit. All right guys, back in a jiffy. Check out the logo. Okay guys, right. This is the um, Sorceress dress, which has the wide back wings design and the cold shoulder. I am a huge fan of cold shoulder clothes. A lot of my clothes and tops are cold shoulder, even dresses. I absolutely love this. So I have put on the um, choker with it and I think it goes okay. It's, it's quite heavy, um, but I do like chokers. As I've said before, I do have like the Rob Zombie choker. I do 
want to order the skull choker i am a fan of chokers so it's something that I, I like anyway i do like the whole pocket design thing i know it is a dress but for me honestly guys i find this a little bit too short as a dress i probably wouldn't feel comfortable and the only reason why is i am quite tall guys i was 5'8 i am now like 5'5 five five. That's because I've got scoliosis, so my spine's twisted, so I am getting shorter, so to speak. Um, but you can see it just kind of reaches like just under my backside. If I was to bend, you'd probably get an eyeful and it's not really a pretty sight. So I'd probably wear this as a top with maybe some like black like whip leggings or some kind of um keel style leggings or just some really th thick black opaque tights can't get my bloody words out now i've just put my regular um these are my my go-to shoes these are my like going out shoes when i do go out out although they are quite high they've not got a big instep and they're uh, mega comfortable so these are like my going out shoes absolutely love them now there is a hood to this so let me just get in your way a minute guys while i just put the hood up i love the hood now i will say something when the hood's down you kind of feel the weight of the hood at the back of you if that makes sense because obviously you've got all this spike design let me just bend down so you can see Woo like a little mohican so it, it does get slightly heavy when it's down but i've also got my bag ready to show you that there's two methods to this bag so if you're going out on a night out and you want a, just a really big bag, it kind of goes really nice and I like this effect. Um, I'm not too sure about where at the minute it's like because there's nothing in it, but the more stuff you put in it, oh God, my body cream is on my bag. I wonder where that bit went. Two minutes, guys. I, oh, it's all of my jumper. <laughs> I was moisturising my body after my bath and a big dollop of cream flew and I thought I heard it hit my bag it won't do any damage so this is the way you'd probably wear it on a night out or you could take them off and have them as a backpack and you can adjust I've actually put mine on the wrong way have I no you can adjust these as well guys to fit you you can have them as tight or as loose as you'd like um, I'm not a massive fan of certain backpacks in case somebody could get into your bag and just grab whatever they could grab now, I can't see what it looks like. Let me just have a look. But you wouldn't have this dangling, guys. So ignore this. This wouldn't be on. Let me just tie it there. It's not that heavy. I have a thing about bags being too heavy. And I can honestly say it feels lighter on my back than it does on my side. Um, usually because I carry my bags on my left side. And I, it's my left side that's shorter because of my issue. So... I, to have bags like that would have to be on my right and i don't feel do you know what it's like when you have a bag on a certain side and you get used to it i hate carrying bags on my right side so if i'm not going to carry it on my left i like to carry it on my back or on my waist and i do have like bum bags but guys just take that in i love this so you can have it really really tight or you could loosen it so it's really loose i prefer to have it as tight to my body as possible but that is the kill star guys i am made up with this order i really really am and i'm just i'm eager to go and put some stuff in my basket there's a lots i've seen a, a maxi dress that i want a velvet one it's the baphomet dress i just want to go and order loads of things but christmas has stopped me from doing that but i am happy with my christmas present that i've got so far i am going to put it away guys i just wanted to try it on but the bag is amazing absolutely love it the only thing that's missing from this bag and you might agree with me and you might not is you know if you were to take it off your back like a handle here so you could just hold it like instead of swinging it around all the time you can just swing it to the side grab it by the handle does that make sense or is it just a rachel thing but yeah i absolutely love it i love the fact that these straps are this type so they're quite sturdy and I love how the chain effect is for the side because I've got a lot of bags that I've got chain um, straps. I love, love chains, love chains. So there you go, guys. That is my kill star. Um, pop your comments on below. Uh, pop your comments on below and tell me what you think. Um, I love this top. Dress, dress, but I love it as a top. Um, if I was to recommend it, the material is very much like a jumper material, like a sweatshirt material. 
that is why I got confused when it said a dress because I would have classed this as being one of my sweatshirt kind of dress uh, tops um but I could wear this to my local goth bar and my metal club and and still feel really dressed up because it's just it's amazing I love it all right guys take care of yourself put your comments below and I'll see you maybe on my next kill star whenever that may be stay spooky